Hi guys, EBP Man here with Tablets for Me. And today we're going to take a look at a pair of screen protectors that black out um, blue light. And these screen protectors are for the iPhone 6S uh, and the 6S Plus. And they're brought to us by Fabricon. So now taking a closer look at the um, screen protector, uh, also known as the um, iGuardian. It's called this because you can see one of the features that it has is it is a anti-blue light screen protector, which is going to really help with eye fatigue, make the screen easier to view. Uh, it's just going to make your experience all that much more pleasurable when using your iPhone. On the very bottom, you'll see that there is a lot of the existing uh, feature set that you find uh, with any tempered glass screen protector, so hardness, clarity. But again, what this sets this product apart is, again, the um, attribute around blue light. If we take a look at the back, it really gives us um, some information about, you know, what is it that this is doing and how it helps prevent any kind of long-term damage to your vision. It's something that you can look it up and you can see um, how this actually works. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install it on our iPhone and see how easy the installation is and see if we notice any difference. Inside the box, you're going to find a microfiber towel for cleaning your phone as well as a screen protector. Now, at first glance, as you're looking at the screen protector, you may say, hey, uh, you know what? I don't really tell a difference. Uh, but if you take a look at this, and I'm going to try to put it in an angle where it shows up, can you see on the screen how there is kind of a purple or um, I don't know what color that is. It's probably kind of like a little purple color on the screen protector. And let me compare it now to one that doesn't have that coating. Notice the difference. Here's the uh, screen protector that has that special coating and then here's a screen protector that doesn't. Both of these are tempered glass material but you can see that there is a difference and we can uh, we'll see that once we uh, put it on the phone itself. So let's go ahead and install this on the phone and see if we see any difference. Now inside of our little microfiber towel packet we did have a alcohol prep and also a uh, dust remover sticky. Uh, these I use a lot in the event that there is uh, some type of uh, dust particle. Uh, that gets on the screen. So the first thing we're going to do is always, it doesn't matter um, if it's a new phone or not, I always, always like wiping down the screen to make sure it doesn't have any kind of residue. Even if you took off a screen protector uh, and are now upgrading your screen protector to this version, I would recommend that you still wipe it down. Make sure you're in a dust-free environment, make sure that there's no fan going, no central air, none of those things, because that's going to make it really easy. I'll tell you, I install a lot of these. I get my friends um, asking me to do it because they say, I, I, you know, my screens never have bubbles and I don't have specks under the, underneath them and the secret is always just to keep yourself in an area where there's no no wind no fan nothing uh, moving around and if you do that the installations are always going to be nice and clean and as close to perfect as they can possibly be so let's go ahead and get the screen ready for application all right so the next step is to remove this um, protective area and this is where the stickiness is going to be. But one of the things I want to show you is just in case you think that it's the film that's causing this, I'm going to remove the film and notice how it's still purple or that lilac color, whatever color you want to call it, but you'll notice that it's still there even with this off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this and the nice thing about the tempered glass screen protectors is that you can hold it on the corners and make sure you have clean hands when you do this. So now I have my screen is clean, I feel comfortable with um, wiping it down and all I'm going to do is align it to the best I can with the bottom and then I'm just going to release the top. Alright so I went ahead and released the uh, screen protector on top of the phone and you notice how it's just adhering itself. Uh, that's a sign of a good screen protector when it just goes across. I didn't have to rub it or anything and you notice that it's right on there. So what we're going to do next is I'm just going to go over it just slightly make sure I don't have um, any dust particles under there doesn't look like I do. And you'll notice that it, there is kind of a still tint onto the screen because of the, uh, the special coating that it has. Let's power it up now. So now powering it up, we'll go ahead and get it closer so you can see. Now it's on. I'll go ahead and use Touch ID to log in. And everything looks good. We'll get a little bit closer so that you can see. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any kind of issue with the overall quality. Responsiveness is very nice. You notice how everything are nice, aligned really nicely. You see that right there. Probably could have gone a little bit higher there, but, but that's good. I still like the way the uh, everything came out. And I didn't really notice any kind of haloing. And it's kind of hard to tell because it's one of those things that you won't be able to tell the difference until you look at someone else's iPhone with the, you know, with their screen protector. But things do look a little different in my mind. Just uh, Just checking it out moving things around everything feels nice and smooth 
So this concludes our review and installation of the Fabricon uh, anti-blue light temper glass screen protectors for the iPhone family of phones. Again, uh, this is the 6S and it works. There is a version for the 6S Plus as well. Uh, I want to thank uh, Fibercon for making the product available for us to review. It's a very interesting product and if you have any comments or questions about it, leave it in the YouTube channel in the comment area below. And as always, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.